so it's time for another update from the greenhouse and something new is going to happen that has never happened before they put chalk on the greenhouse to stop the sun from uh, getting too bright on plants and they're going to use a drone to do it so that's what it looks like i'm very curious This is what it looks like. The big tank underneath holds the chalk spray. And uh, we'll see what happens. Where's Gerard? So, you know, safety first and making sure no one gets close. And there it sits. So they used to have to go up on the roof to do this by hand. I'm quite curious to see how this all goes. So this sign says, be careful, drone activity. So this tank holds the, the chalk spray and uh, they're going to fill that little tank here from the drone gets filled and they have a computer that that sits on, on this thing here and they've got a map for where they have to spray and I think he's just figuring that all out now. My knowledge is, is scant. I've asked some questions but the guy that works there has only been working here for a few months. But really fascinating technology. He's doing something with the computer screen. Okay, so now he's filling the tank. So those two things that he just placed in there, those are the batteries. And uh, that's what keeps it going. And I think he said they're good for about 10 minutes. So this is the company that does the, the drones and robotics and uh, Quattle is the company that's worked with Gerard for ever and uh, they always do the chalk coating on the greenhouse so that the sun's rays aren't too strong for the amaryllis um, they also do uh, trucking for him to bring the flowers uh, no not to do the flowers to do other things like ch leaf chopping and that kind of stuff so while we're waiting for the guy to start the drone and do the chalk, Gerard is cleaning his chilling machine. And the chiller uses water water from the ditch, but I mean... It's a heat exchanger. It's a heat exchanger. So yeah, this is just one of the many jobs that he has to do in the summertime while the plants are growing. Some last minute uh, preparations and uh, making sure everybody has the same information. I think he uses Google Maps and uh, so they because he asked for the address and he went up high and that's all plotted in so they know exactly where to spray 